Alright so, this week in Ireland has surprisingly been a very busy one. First of all, what is the crack welcome back? If you're new to this channel, my name is Adam Redmond. Nice to meet you. Now we are spoiled for choice this week. I had a choice of at least four or five solid tiles and thumbnails that could have got me a fair amount of views. So we've got the Batman of Southside of Dublin. We have a leaked I'm a celebrity Irish contestant. We also have skinny and creatures invading Irish homes for the winters that you need to know about. We've also got an American comedian that the Irish Tourism Board spent 11k on just to go to the All Ireland final. And on top of all of that, we've got Ireland's largest ever boil water notice. Like, what? What is the country coming to? So, the Batman of Southside of Dublin, her name is Angela Fay. Now for those of you that don't really keep up with social media and haven't a clue who Angela Fahey is, she has an Instagram account that the other day she went absolutely viral on. I think she was at less than a K and jumped to 19 K and I think about 48 hours in around. So basically what the woman does, she goes around Dublin city centre on the south side of Dublin recording people on bikes like this one that don't have a light. Angela, I have mine so you can't give out to me. She also gives out the cyclists going through red lights, even crosses some lines or even normal cars just on double yellow lines and other stuff where she deems as they're outrageously breaking the law. Angela Fatty told the Irish Sun, I started doing it as I was getting totally pissed off every morning and evening with cyclists. Well Jesus, wouldn't you have an absolute meltdown if you set foot in Darndale? Quizzed that she thinks a video campaign will make a difference. Angela told us, bad cyclists and drivers will always be out there. But if it gets the authorities to sit up and take notice, then I will be happy. Fair play Angela, I think you're doing God's work. Fair play to you honestly from the bottom of my heart but I've heard a plot twist that you actually can't cycle a bike so you have a personal vendetta against people like me on bicycles. But there you go, full story of the day, the hero that you didn't know that our country actually needed. And now the largest ever boil water notice that Ireland has ever had affecting up to 600,000 people on the north side of Dublin and some other areas that I can't really remember off the top of my head. Is it a big deal to boil your water before you drink it? No. Is it a big deal to go to the shop to buy a bit of water? No. Is it a big deal to some people? Yes. What I will say is I don't even drink tap water on the normal since in this area it tastes absolutely disgusting. But the other day when I was going to Little to buy me a little 5 litre bottle of water, there was a couple of men in the shop and they were complaining, like I say men, they were granddads and they were complaining to each other about, oh why do we have to pay for water when it's this shit anyways, this government, this, this, this and this. If you don't want to pay for water and you're complaining about the service you're getting from Irish water, put a book out your back garden and collect fuck rainwater if it's that big of a deal. Genuinely, you have to boil the water that comes out of your taps like, oh no, oh my god. Just be thankful you can turn a tap and water can flow through it. Do you know how many people there are in the world that don't have access to running water? Yeah. Maybe have a little think about it before you do a little bit of moaning. In saying that, I would rather have no running water in my house than be stuck drinking dirty sparkling water. Sparkling water, if you're watching this, anyone that drinks that, you're an oddball. Who the hell willingly goes into a shop and goes, oh, normal water or this fizzy water that just tastes weird. Yep, I'm going to pick up this thing with the green lid, I'm going to open it and I'm going to enjoy this. No, like, no, like, you're weird. Irish homes and Invaded by skinny and silver fish as wintry weather takes hold. How to keep them away. Oh no, that sounds terrifying. No, it's not. See these creepy little creatures? Yes, they're disgusting looking, but we've all seen them before. You see something shiny on the ground and you look at it and you go, what the hell is that? And then it starts scurrying across the floor like a little fish. That's why it's called a silver fish, because it swims across your floor and it's a bit shiny. The bugs thrive in damp conditions and lay up to 60 eggs every day. Ooh, that is is disgusting. So these silverfish actually have a fairly big appetite and will eat anything from books and photos all the way to dead skin and hairs. I know, disgusting. But we all know that dead skin is dust. I think it's like 70% of dust is actually dead skin. So these little silverfish will personally go around your house cleaning your floors for you. Well, that's one way to look at them. And you might be thinking, how do I get rid of these silverfish? Or how do I prevent them? Well, all you have to do is air out your house and make a potion. Now, honestly, you have to make a potion. A repellent can be made using six equal parts 
carrots, vinegar and water, a squirt of washing up liquid and then mix it with 10 drops of peppermint in eucalyptus oil. I'm not even pronouncing that right. So there you go. If you know how to throw all them in a little container, don't know what you do when you mix all them together. Maybe you just dosh it around your gaff, spray it into the ear, or maybe you just drink it and fart it out your crack. So give it a bit bash if you have these little silver fish wandering around your gaff. Either stamp on the bastards or just make this potion somehow and I don't know how you're supposed to disperse it throughout your household. Cork sinkhole linked to collapse of mine shaft as public warned to avoid the area. So down in Cork supposedly a mine collapsed and it caused a big sinkhole and there's the picture there and I can confidently tell you I don't think I've seen a hole that big pretty much I think it was since I got me colonoscopy. I swear to God, any time that I mention it, even if it's a joke, and I think back in it, like, me shit just hasn't been the same since. <laughs> oh, what are you saying, you big dope? Yeah, this was another picture of a day. Nobody was injured. There was no deaths around. People were just advised to stay away from it. The people, I don't know who it is. The local authorities are trying to find out who owns the mine to see if they can do some sort of, I don't know, some sort of work to make sure that this doesn't happen again. Tourism Ireland spent over 11k to fly US viral star Josh Prey to Dublin for All Ireland Final. Now, this story alone as the title and thumbnail would have got a hell of a lot of views. But I sure these things happen. I know that you lot are going to help this video get more views as it is because you're going to go downstairs right now drop a like on the video leave a comment down below I'm more than happy to have a conversation with anybody that wants one those that always watch me will know this and also do me a massive favor we're so 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 close we're literally a pube away from it in 20k but we have till the end of the year to do it two and a half months to gain two and a half k i really really hope we do it but i can only do it with your help now this man here, his name is Josh Prey, and for those of you that still use Facebook, might recognise him because he went viral a couple of times over the last couple of months. For those of you that live in a cupboard and haven't a clue who the man is, he is a comedian and he also posts videos on the interwebs. Last month he done a couple talking about the GAA, talking about Holland, Gaelic football, Camogie, and he was doing basically his over enthusiastic, hyped up reaction to the sports. He also done a full video dedicated to Crip Sambo, so if you're watching this Josh, fair play, Crip Sambo's need all the advertising poison that he can get. But anyways, going back to the gist of the story, just last month in September, Tourism Ireland paid 11k of taxpayer money just to fly the Yank over to Ireland to let him watch the All-Ireland Final. They also gave him a ticket to the final, but all the proper fans that have supported the GAA all year and for previous years sat at home and watched it on the telly. Fair play, Tourism Ireland. So it cost 8k in total for the flights and the rest of the money was then spent on taxis, film and editing and food for him to eat. Tourism Ireland has justified the spend by saying a video and social media campaign reached 20 million people globally. That sentence seems poorly put together, but if this is true, fair play. 11k to reach 20 million people, that is a fairly good investment. 20 million globally, maybe, like, maybe he should be the title and thumbnail. Are we sticking more in the slab? But like, 20 million globally, people are still going to be searching his name. Ah, producer Dave knows best. So this was the Irish son that pretty much put out this figure and said that Irish tourism spent 11k on him. I don't know where they got the figure from, maybe they got it directly from Tourism Ireland. But anyways, he put up a video in response to this article where he pretty much just babbled on about Tao, which pretty much seemed like a brand deal. So if Tao, you're watching this, I wouldn't mind a little brand deal. I love a nice packet of crisps. But again, him milking the views, he had a good Irish title in there and he also even plugged his own tour in Ireland, which is going to be in January, which I'm strongly taking thinking about going to see. Now for the last story and the reason that probably some of you have clicked this video, so if you click this video for the toilet and thumbnail and you fast forward it to this bit, do me a favour, go back and watch the rest of the video and just do me a favour, get that watch time up, let YouTube promote this video to more and more people because you'll help me out, thanks very much. But you're looking for this Irish man that has now been leaked or tipped to go into I'm a Sleb through their own stupidity. So this came out yesterday, this is probably one of the reasons also why I'm making this video now while it is still a fresh topic he posted this i'm saying he the name of the chap is paul stenson he's the owner controversial business owner of the white moose cafe and he runs the charleville lodge and he also has a pretty big following for himself online as well but anyways here is the video that i'm talking about against the light jason daniel from itv has just got back i think this might be the press photo hang on oh jeez
So the story was only up for less than an hour, I'm pretty sure, and a lot of people sent me this straight away as in like, this is big news, put it in your video. So I was like, alright, I'm gonna deal with it. People want it, I'ma give it to you. So what presumably happened, Paul recorded this and accidentally put it on the story when he's supposed to send it to his partner, Jason. So what has actually been leaked, what are we looking at? It looks like an email that has been sent to Paul from someone that works for ITV that is involved with I'm a Celeb, and they're sending Paul the press shots before they release them. And if we pause the video, you can read a bit of the email, it says, Hi Paul, we have the latest video and have your press release follow. Once you confirm you're a happy blah 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 blah, you can expect it to be released next week. Kind regards, Declan Radcliffe. Now this only came out yesterday and I've seen a divide opinion already. People are saying they're excited for him to go on to it and people are saying this is fake, he's an attention seeker, which I get both sides of the story. He is someone who loves the limelight and he loves controversy and he's always in the news as I said. But what I don't understand is if he was milking this situation and this was fake, why would he take it down after an hour? Why wouldn't he leave it up for as long as possible and let loads of people see it? What I would say is it was a genuine mistake and someone texted him and he went oh shit and realised and took it down before he was in a breach of contract and he just told him nope your bag is gone you ain't coming on and getting this big payment. Also a couple hours after he put on it which is like a little bit confusing to me he put on a story saying he's going away for three weeks and he put up this picture which is like his itinerary but it says he's finished his holiday on the 19th of November. Now that's where the confusing part is because I went and googled when I'm a celeb starts and it usually starts between the 17th, 18th and 19th to November so that if he was to finish his holiday on the 19th he'd be like too late he'd miss the start of the show but for those of you that aren't familiar with the show I can tell you that two people always go in a week late just to store the pot and basically Paul for any of you that are familiar with him he is the perfect shit storer like is this genius on ITV is he gonna go in as one of the late guests and also what I presume is if he's gone away for three weeks with his partner there's probably only one reason and that's probably because he is jetting off to Australia to go into a jungle with a lot of strangers and not see his family and friends for a very long time. As I said, is this pure genius on ITV? I don't know. Usually they like to have one Irish person and also they like to have a bit of camp and camp. <laughs> Oh, people probably won't get that. My theory, which I've already said, is I think it was a genuine accident. I think he meant to send it to his partner and it got leaked onto a story when someone texted him and informed him he took it down. He's gone away for three weeks to spend time with his partner before going into the jungle with a load of strangers just to like, and he's going to miss him or whatever. And yeah, I don't know. I'm looking forward to it anyways. I love I'm a Celeb. Since I was a kid, it has been a dream of mine to go on. If any I'm a Celeb producers are watching this because of the title and thumbnail, I would be more than happy to go on to the show for completely free. Like no charge, I'm not looking for the couple of grand that all the other contestants will be looking for, I'll do it for free. So there you go Mr. Producer, if you want someone that can come on and have the crack, I would be more than happy to do it. And now everybody, I want you to tell me, do you think this is legit or not? Like is he, is like is this fake? Is this a genius plan from him to get a load of attention or is this just a genuine mishap from an absolute dingbat? Anyways, let me know down below in the comments and as per usual, that is going to be it for the video. I really, really appreciate it. If you're still watching this video, really really appreciate it pop down below let me know if you're still watching to this stage leave a like in the video also subscribe if you're new and subscribe if you're watching and you haven't already subscribed yet because for some reason like 30% of you watch these videos every week nearly knock the camera down you watch the video every week and you just don't hit that subscribe button which does not make sense to me but that's got me from today thanks very much for watching feel free to follow me on instagram as i said i'll tell you why this video has went up a day early thanks for watching see you later goodbye